Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So we are from group 5 of the subject UHS 403 nutrition So today we will, we will be presenting about the intermittent fasting So these are the list of my group member which consists of 10 people including me So first we will go through the definition of intermittent fasting first First the definition of fasting Fasting is defined as willingly abstaining from some or all food drink or post for a period of time while intermittent fasting is an eating pattern where you cycle between periods of eating and fasting intermittent fasting can be done by skipping breakfast eating the first meal at noon and the last meal at 8 pm intermittent fasting is not a diet it's a pattern of eating it's a way of scheduling your meal so that you are getting most out of them or the concept of intermittent fasting. In your feeding pattern in a day, you would have a window which called as eating window and fasting window. Eating window, you can consume all the food which means you can enjoy the carbs, protein and fats while fasting window, you cannot intake any of them. When the body fasting, the catabolism is very important because it needs to break down whatever it has thought and try to generate the energy. During a meal, Cups in the food are broken down into the glucose where the glucose absorbed through the intestinal wall into the bloodstream. Thus, in the fasted state lasts long enough, the body burns fat for the energy and loses the extra fat. The 16 over 8 method involves fasting every day for about 16 hours. For example, if you finish your meal at 8pm and don't eat until the noon for the next day, it is technically fasting for 16 hours. The second method is eat, stop, eat. For example, if you finish dinner at 7pm Monday and don't eat until dinner at 7pm Tuesday. Last method is 5 to diet. For example, you might eat normally every day of the week except Mondays and Thursday. For those two days, you eat two small meal of 250 calorie each for women and 300 calories each for men. First advantage of intermittent fasting is cancer prevention. Fasting has been shown to have several beneficial effects on metabolism that may lead to reduce the risk of cancer. There's also some evidence showing that fasting reduces various side effects of chemotherapy in humans. Second is it helps you to lose weight and visceral fat. Eating during a set period can help people reduce the number of calories that they consume. Researchers found that the people who fasted lost a significant amount of lean mass, which included lean muscle. So next point, increased level of this hormone promote a fat burning and muscle building among other advantage. Cellular regeneration, the body initiates critical cellular repair activities such as the removal of waste material from the cell. The expression of the genes, several genes and molecules have undergone positive modification they are linked to lifespan and disease resistance. The last point, several studies have found that intermittent fasting improves the body tolerance to oxidative stress. And furthermore, research suggests that intermittent fasting might help reduce inflammation which is another major cause for many common ailments. Disadvantages of intermittent fasting Firstly, skipping meals can result in headache and dizziness because lack of energy from fasting. Moreover, Intermittent fasting can cause trouble concentrating and doing daily tasks. Furthermore, it can result in long-term side effects such as low blood sugar level, as known as hypoglycemia. So the conclusion is that while more human studies are needed, time-restricted intermittent fasting as a lifestyle may be the best approach for long-term weight control and health. That's all from us. Thank you for watching and enjoy the video.